Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. Concerned neighbors are speaking out after a deadly shooting and home invasion in a Cleveland apartment complex. It happened inside Springbrook Apartments, the same place two women were stabbed to death earlier this year. New at 11, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Sidery speaks with residents about crime in the area. Sarah. Greg, police say this most recent incident was targeted and likely could not have been prevented. But residents say they're fed up with any kind of violence in their neighborhood. But now here we are with another person dead and another person critically injured at the same place where a murder already happened this year. And who's doing anything about it? That's what I want to know. People at Springbrook Apartments are reacting to a violent home invasion that happened inside one of the units. Police say three armed intruders broke into this apartment early Monday morning. One of them was shot dead, another was injured, and the third suspect still at large. Seems like kind of a family you know, oriented kind of place, but after hearing that, no, I don't think so. You have crackheads walk around here at all hours of the night. You've got drug dealers coming in and out of here, and it's, I mean, it's quite obvious. Cleveland police classify the complex as a mid to high call volume area. Resident Jonathan Wagner says he wants to see more patrol cars in the neighborhood and more often. I want them here so that my kids are safe at night because 12 o'clock at night, there's a shooting over there. I was passed out. I mean, it could have been my next door neighbor that got shot. Bullet flies through the window or through the wall, hit one of my kids, I mean. Well, there's no need for them to be patrolling any more than they do. They do make patrols throughout the night. This man did not want to go on camera, but thinks the city should hire more officers to help deter crime on these streets. Give them some help out here. These guys are stretched thin and they're doing the best they can. They need all the help they can get. Police say the investigation is ongoing and criminal charges are pending. Anyone with information should call Cleveland Police. In the studio, Sarah Sidery, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Sarah.